Well, at one time of day, this little side lane led down directly from Gunport Bridge down into the village of East Bridgeford. East Bridgeford, I've only been to once in my life. And that was when I was knee high to a short winged cone head, you could say. I'm not going right into East Bridgeford, it's these meadows at the side of the Trent here. That's where I'm hoping to try and eventually find this species and end over a 10 year wait to see it and hopefully photograph it. But I won't be able to photograph it still here, will I? I've never known so many people on bikes coming up here. There's almost as many people on bikes as there are fruit in this hedgerow. This is going to be a stonking year for fruit. Blackberries here. It's smarted out with blackberries. Yet no one picks them. Long gone are the days when families used to come out on a Sunday afternoon blackberry picking. I don't think they know what to do with them now they picked them. But it's not only blackberries, also it's hawthorn as well that's producing lots of berries and also elder. All good food for the birds. But they're not having all the blackberries. Well here's a nice find straight away. I've just come off the main road at Gunthorpe Bridge and found this and this is boxbug nymph it looks like a lasting star nymph to me and it's on ash this young ash tree that's growing at the side of the road here now boxbug was discovered new only recently April 2015 when it was found at Attenborough Nature Reserve by Tim Sexton formerly this it was always an RGB1, Red Data Book 1 species, and it was confined and known only from Box Hill in Surrey. But for something known only to Boxbug, all of a sudden it began to increase its range and increased its range to cover most of southeastern UK. That's all taken place in recent years. It reached Leicestershire in 2014, and so it was only expected to appear in Nottingshire at around the same time. But it remained relatively sparse in records until I started to find it on new trees, especially those growing in churchyards or cemeteries. And since then, if I visited a cemetery, looked on new trees, especially near the berries, this species was invariably present. And it proved to be far more commoner and widespread than at first thought. So that's a nice thing, nice thing to find. There's masses of this growing here, this is hop, but I've never seen it sort of flowering and producing as much as this. It's quite a widespread hedgerow plant in Nottinghamshire and presumably across much of the UK but usually it rarely fruits like this unless it's just having an exceptional year because of the dry hot year we've had but there's a couple of plants here and they're all snided out with hops lovely not something to see that often at all I was just walking past and just having a casual check of this field maple that's at the side of the lane here and 
found these mines, and these are the mines of Stigmella aceris. Now, this is a species that I featured before last year on this channel by finding the first records for Nottinghamshire, and then went on to find a number of mines that are quite numerous sites. Wherever there was Norway maple, it would inevitably turn up this mine. But this is the first time they've recorded it on field maple. And the frass is initially green and then turns brown with age. So this is a vacated mine, as is this one here. It's a very easy mine because you to determine because you're limited to what species are on aces anyway. So this is one to look out for. So there's another new comer to the Nottingham area. And this is Stigmella aceris. If you go out and find Norway maple, it can be anywhere. Norway maple is usually planted as street trees or in parks and gardens. Have a look. I'm presuming it's just on the green leaved form and not the purple leaved Norway maple. But go out and check. You're very likely to have this species. It's worth looking for, especially in Yorkshire. I don't know whether there are any Yorkshire records yet, but one to look out for. You can't ever say that I don't bring you a bit of culture and history to this channel because this appears to be the site of the original Gunthorpe Toll Bridge. There's an information board here in a minute, I'll film that and you can freeze frame and read all the history. This is obviously before the present Gunthorpe Bridge was built. This is where you used to have to pay the toll and cross this bridge to get to the village of Gunthorpe. Well, if you do fancy a read of the information on this board about Gunthorpe Toll Bridge between 1875 and 1927, no, I can't remember it, then the best idea is to freeze the frame and have a read and do that now and then we'll carry on. starts to get up that's a very picturesque view almost like a jigsaw puzzle once the Trent goes past Gunthorpe its southern side is banked very steeply and tree lined and it's like that for a mile or two and before it reaches Newark it flattens out and opens out but while it looks all very nice I've not found the habitat here that I was hoping for to search for shortwing coneheads. So, in a review of the day's proceedings, I think I need to revert back to my usual locality of the pits at Gunthorpe. There's just no habitat around here now, as nice as it is. <laughs> 